The reason I want to be a Formula 1 driver is because it's got a lot of speed in it. Um, when I went to Belgium and I saw the, the actual speed that they were doing, it was amazing because you don't actually think about it when you're watching the TV. And my car feels really powerful when I'm in it. But imagine being in the Formula 1 car. Must be very powerful, that. Lewis's dad, Anthony, is his manager and chief mechanic. I think, um, you know, leading up to the race with all the stress and the pressure and the nerves, when he finally crosses that finishing line, you know it's all over. Nothing else is going to, could happen. He's won, uh, and it's just a fantastic feeling. <laughs> I think well, that's the reason why I do it, I think, yes. you know, just to get that last race on a Sunday right. afternoon. Got it right. Excellent feeling. The first time I, I sprayed a champagne bottle, I didn't know how to do it, and I, I just held the bottle and I didn't put my thumb over the top, and I was just shaking it and nothing was happening, and nobody told me what to do. Eventually I, I learned it. Go! Lewis started racing remote control cars when he was six. By the time he was eight, he mastered go-karts and could reach speeds of up to 70 miles an hour. Well, the first time we tried him in um, a cart, he was only about two or three seconds off the pace, for, which for a novice was excellent. Uh, the, the guy at the, the racetrack said, you know, recommended that the best, the best thing for him would be to get him in, into a race cart. Karting, like Formula One, is fiercely competitive. It's also a white-dominated sport. It's a, still about collecting points, points, actually win. As Lewis began to win, the fact that he was the only black face on the track became an issue. In the past years, I've, I've had um, racist names being called to me. The first time it happened, I felt really upset. I told, told my mum and dad, and I felt like I needed to get revenge on them. But lately, um, if anybody had said anything to me, I would just ignore them and get them back on the track. We don't get involved with um, people who have problems about whether we win or whether what colour we are or, or whatever the, the issue might be for them. The fact is that, you know, we're here to race and so, you know, we go out on the track and we do our best. But with hundreds of youngsters looking for recognition from the big sponsors, Anthony knows Lewis's colour could be his biggest asset. You need to have a, an angle that people are interested in and obviously as the, the only black um, youngster in racing at the moment, uh, I, I wouldn't be adverse to using Lewis's colour as a means to getting on, but to be honest, I don't feel I have to do that. Some of the biggest names in motor racing, like McLaren's Ron Dennis, are already showing an interest. When I met Ron Dennis, I asked for his autograph in my autograph book. I asked for him to put his address down and um, his phone number, and he, he writ in the autograph book, um, phone me in nine years, and we'll sort something out then. He is still quite young, uh, but he is very focused and very confident. You know, there are some traits there that you see in, in the greats. By and large, all the great Grand Prix drivers are, are from karting. It's, it's the right place to start.